In this video, we'll try to create custom data labels. Uh, on this report page, you see a slicer up top and also a line visual on the bottom. And uh, for the uh, slicer, we have the year coming from the calendar table. And for the line chart, on the x-axis, we have the month. And also for the y-axis, we have the total steps. And um, we have to create a measure so that we can add this uh, measure as a custom data label. So let us try to do that in this page. Let us go to our measures table, right click on it and create a new measure. And uh, we will try to name this measure as custom label for total steps measure. You can name whatever you want to. And we have to create a couple of variables. And the first variable will be uh, this month steps equal to total steps. And in one of the previous videos, we have already calculated the previous month steps. So we'll pass that uh, measure value here. So previous month steps equal to previous month steps. And we will create a third variable and we'll call it as a result. And in this result, we will try to use a switch statement and uh, true if the condition would be if this month steps are greater than or equal to previous month steps then give an emoji in this case i am using the windows emojis uh, so i am using a thumbs up that is as the first condition and the second is if this month steps are less than previous month steps then it would be a thumbs down you can use any kind of emoji but to demonstrate i am just using a simple logic once you do that and close the parenthesis and commit to it and in the written statement we can say re return this result but in our case we wanted to show the total steps and also we want to show this emoji right so all we have to do is go back to our measure kind of uh, change the code tweak it we will uh, use the format function uh, for the total steps so that we get uh, the thousand separator and um, and we use the ampersand and add the result we'll make sure that the code is correct let us try to make sure that is there and we commit to it once we commit to it we have the measure ready so all we have to do is go to the formatting and in the data labels and go to the values and there is a by default the total steps um, measure is there so we will replace that particular total steps with our newly created measure we make selections on the slicer the visual also changes it's a very simple uh, line chart and we have understood the concept so thanks for watching see you in the next video